Hey guys, Jared back. So I compiled a list of my favorite top three KitKat launchers uh, for pretty much any Android device running Android 4.0 and above. Now, why did I do this? Well, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to root their device and flash a custom ROM to achieve that sort of baked in Nexus 5 um, stock KitKat launcher. But uh, if you go to the Play Store and you type in KitKat launcher, there is a ton. So how do you dis uh, determine which one's the best for you, which one offers the most, which one's the most well supported and, and best developed one from the developers. Um, so like I said, I compiled a list of three. So the first one we're going to be taking a look at is Epic Launcher. Um, this is free in the Play Store, and obviously there is always these sort of premium features that you can um, purchase to get gain access to down the road. But uh, I'm just going to be going over all the free features and versions. So here is Epic Launcher. As you can see, it comes with all the stock um, KitKat or 4.4, if you uh, if you will, um, sort of icons down there at the bottom, which looks really really clean. Jumping into the application tray, there you don't see that it's sort of enlarged the icon, so it's kind of um, steered away from the the, the uh, icon size. However, if we hit the settings button, as you can see, it's still a sort of the stock launcher uh, look with the wallpapers, widgets, and settings, and so on. But we'll jump into settings here, and this is where you get all the stuff. As you can see, I don't have this set as my default launcher right now because we're going to be showing you the other two in just a moment. But we've got all kinds of options in here. A lot of these options you actually don't get access to with the Nexus 5 stock KitKat launcher. Um, so if we were to go into desktop, as you can see, we've got all kinds of things in here. You can change the grid size, everything that you would imagine in um, pretty much every standard uh, launcher out there. Same thing with app drawer. Right, you can change the grid size, the colors, the labels, things like that. Um, folders, looks, and feel. So um, you can change the font, the icon text size, and of course the icon size. So if you do want to achieve that larger icon look, um, you can go ahead and do so through there. So lots of cool options in here. Um, you can set the unread counts. Uh, again, that is a premium version. So you're gonna have to pay for the premium version. Um, and then of course we can go ahead and click on more and you can back up and restore the settings, keep the launcher in memory, set to default, and of course reset the launcher back to everything default. Um, so that's pretty cool. And if we go back here and we actually swipe to the right, it gives us access to our Google Now cards. This is probably, probably more so my favorite launcher out of the three, uh, just so you guys know, but you can't exactly just swipe to the left to get back to your home screen. You are in fact going to have to click that home button. While we're here, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is KitKat Launcher Plus. Hit that just once. As you can see here, it doesn't come preloaded or anything in the, um, uh, I can't even remember what the hell this is called anymore. The action bar? I can't, I can't believe I can't remember and I'm an Android guy. Anyways, um, so we'll go ahead and jump into the application tray. As you can see, it sort of resizes all of the um, application icons for you, which is pretty cool. Whoops. Um, and in fact, if we click on the settings menu, same thing as the last one. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, jump into the settings here. We've got general, and you can enable or disable Google Now if you like, and you can even choose to ch uh, determine how you reveal it. So do you want it to slide or do you want it to fade? Um, between those two, just between you and me, um, I can't actually tell the difference between those as far as the animation is concerned. To me, it looks exactly the same, but I don't know, your eyes might be different than myself. Um, we do have some icon settings in here, so again, you can change the icon size. If you want to change the text size, you are going to have to purchase the pro version, as you can see there. Uh, backing out of there, of course, you've got all the different things like the, uh, the application drawer, the screens. Uh, a little more simplistic, but I really like the clean um, layout of it and how he's kind of bundled everything so it's not you know too much so I mean if you're looking for a KitKat style launcher and you don't want a whole ton of settings to confuse you this might be a really really great option for you um, and if we actually get back out and I swipe there it is but it kind of transitions into the Google launcher a little bit different you can see some of my previous search history I have recently purchased a PlayStation 4 and I was looking for some different headsets for it um, oh and by the way happy birthday to Mintai uh, hopefully I didn't butcher your name so anyways but I don't really like how it converts or how it launches us into the Google now because it kind of pulls down the search bar for you and then you know you can start talking I would prefer it like epic launcher where it just launches into it right away without bringing down the search so um, that's just my opinion Let's go ahead and move on to KK Launcher. And here it is. So uh, upon you, first glance, you'll notice that uh, it obviously does put everything down there, the icons in there. They are regularly sized though. Um, and if we click on the little folder there, you got two other options. So if we click on that, it's just to his different applications so you can check out obviously the Prime version being a little over a dollar. Um, and then we've got an app lock if you wanted to as well. But again, those are all some additional installs. Uh, application tray, everything's standard size there. And if we click on the menu option, everything's the same. And if we jump into settings, kind of a clean, cool sort of uh, layout. 
um, similar to Epic with all the different options for you to choose from. There isn't any specific um, Google Now options swiping to the right, but if we go back to the home screen, swipe and then that's how that happens. So it isn't a smooth transition. It's It picks up on your swipe to the right and then launches the actual Google Now application itself, which I'm not a huge fan of. But one thing I do like about this launcher though is that if we go into here and wallpapers, um, it actually comes with the Nexus 5 wallpapers, which I thought was pretty cool. And the other two launchers don't come with any wallpapers at all. So, you know, pick your poison, guys, all of which are really fantastic launches. They're still supported by the developers. Each one of them have like between four to five stars. They've been downloaded thousands and thousands of times. And obviously the developers are still interested in keeping development and supporting all three launchers, which is what was most important to me because most developers who create launchers will sometimes make the launcher and then just sort of lets it fit away and then there's months and months and months between updates and I'm not a huge fan of those types of developers if you're gonna make something stick with it anyways guys I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining at all for whatever reason if you did click that likes button down below if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos uh, but that's it for now though guys as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one cheers